I got Russ, can I help you? Well, I got a message on my voicemail to call this number, something about a lawsuit. It must have uh, been sir, this morning because uh, I just got home. I was filing a lawsuit against your name. You are having a arrest warrant. That's the reason we call you, alright? Uh, I don't understand what happened then. I R S filing a lawsuit against your name. Yes. You but are why? having a arrest warrant. Tell me the number. Which number you received the call? My phone number is five 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 two zero six. One five nine nine. Okay, and uh, man of who I'm speaking with right now? Carl Fisher. F I S C H E R. Carol, and the last name is? Fisher. F I C H E R. Uh, your first name is? Carl. C A R L. C A R L. Carl. Last name is F I S H E R. F I S C H E R F I S C H E R Yes Okay and uh, uh you know uh I was filing a lawsuit against your name you are having a arrest warrant and you are under the investigation by the IRS because uh you are under paid over tax the amount to which you put in your file and the amount to which I have, it's a different amount, okay? It's a wrong amount. So, how did that happen? Uh, man, who I am speaking, uh, first of all, can you just verify me the address? What's your mailing address? 1138 Center Street. And, uh, spell it out. Spell Center? C E N T E R. Oh, Center Street. And the zip code is? Zero seven three zero four. All right. So, Carl, first of all, there are three conference call. Okay. This line is highly recording, monitored by your local authorities, municipal courthouse, and Washington DC headquarters. So, there are three conference calls. Hatch you are. Why would? Why yeah. would the local police have it? Local police? Yeah, why are they listening? Why? Because uh, you are trying to defrauding the IRS, okay? You are trying to defrauding the U.S. government. That's the reason uh, we call you, all right? You are, a, you are having an arrest warrant just because you are underpaid your tax, okay? So... Carl, you know, this line is highly recording, monitored by your local authorities, municipal courthouse, and Washington DC headquarters. So, there are three conference calls, okay, and they are listening to this recording. So, Carl, this line is highly, uh, this uh, IRS re audit your tax file for the year 2011 to 16. We find out that is a mistake in the tax file. The taxes that you file does not match the tax record that we have. It means the amount which you put in your file and the amount which I have, it does not match. It's a different amount. It's a wrong amount. So this is the mistake in your tax file and the amount is outstanding under your name is uh, five thousand eight hundred ninety two dollar <laughs> okay I don't know it's, how that uh, could have possibly have happened taxes. I, I don't know it's a uh, not single penny it's uh, including your pending taxes legal charges and the let fee so I want to know your intention of what you have to do you want to be arrested or you want to resolve this matter well I don't want to be arrested who does if you don't want to be arrested, you have to verify this amount, okay? So do you have the amount $5,892 so we can go ahead and we remove the warrant of your arrest? You know, if you will not pay this amount to the IRS, your bank account will be seized and your driving license will be cancelled. You will go in the prison after five years. So I give you a one.
Yeah. I'm not going to prison. You will go in. Yeah, you will go in no, the prison. No, I won't. I won't right. go to prison. I'll tell you that much. I now. want to know. IRS give you a one fair chance to resolve this matter. Tell me what you have to do. You tell me what I have to do. I don't know what I have to do. You want to go ahead and remove the warrant of your arrest, or you want to go in the prison? I don't want to go to prison. So, do you have the amount $5,892? No, I do not have that much money. Okay, no problem. If you don't have that kind of money, not an issue, okay? Because uh, I understand that that is a big amount, okay? But tell me what is the amount you have right now, how much you have at this time, so we can go ahead and uh, we I, remove the bond of your arrest. I probably got $1,200 in the bank. $1,200, uh, and uh, you know, uh, I am not telling you, you pay this amount, okay? Right now, you don't need to pay this amount, okay? You just uh, cancel the lawsuit and cancel the warrant of your arrest, okay? So, uh, what I can do for you, uh, Carl, you have uh, $1,200, right? Yes. So, what I can do for you, Carl, let me go out and inform to the uh, senior supervisor and uh, who will be cancel the lawsuit and cancel the warrant of your arrest, okay? So, hold the line, alright? Alright. Thank you. Holding the line, thank you. This is Mike Wilson with whom I'm talking right now. Carl Fisher. Okay, Mr. Carl, right now there is a lawsuit filed on your name and I would like to give you the chance to resolve this case fine. Can you tell me, do you want to cancel the warrant under your name? Well, yeah, I want to cancel no? the warrant. I don't want to get arrested. I want you to start the process right now in order to cancel the warrant. You need to verify this funds with the government right now. I need to verify what? You have to go to your bank right now in order to make the payment. So are you able to go to your bank right now to cancel the warrant? Well, yeah, I can go to the bank. Are you at your home right now, sir? Yeah, I'm home. Your zip code is 7304, right? Yes. All right. So what do you have to do right now? You have to go to your bank right now. But first of all, do one thing. You have any Walmart store over there? Oh, well, yeah, we got a Walmart. They're everywhere. You go to Walmart right now and buy this tax payment voucher from the Walmart in order to cancel the warrant. Take your ID card, debit card, and go to the Walmart store right now, okay? Go to Walmart? You have to buy the tax payment vouchers right now from the Walmart to cancel the warrant. Do they sell tax payment vouchers there? I never saw them. Yeah, this is first time you're being known, so you don't know how IRS works. So do one thing. It is a cell phone number, right? So I want you to keep this line open, stay on the line, and drive to the Walmart right now. Once you purchase the voucher, then I will give you the IRS address, and then you have to come to the IRS office, and we'll give okay. you the later on that. So. All How right. much time will it take to go to Walmart? So, are you able to take a leave right now to head it to the Walmart or yeah, no? Yeah, I can head it to the Walmart, yeah. Do one thing, take your ID card, your debit card, get in the car and talk with me and go to Walmart. I want you to keep this phone with you, stay on the line, okay? okay. Don't hang up this line. All right, right now. I gotta go out to my car. Yeah, get in your car and talk with me. Okay. Get it on with you, open, stay on the line. Okay, I'm in my car. Now what do I do? Now start driving to the Walmart. Okay. Boom, 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 boom.